All right, we're talking more college hoops. Maury Hirsch Gordon in studio now. All right, you're at the URI game today. And uh, we spoke on the court beforehand, and you said you thought the Rams were a little lackadaisical. Did you see this performance coming? So I think right from the jump, Yanni, you could kind of tell in warm-ups. And you hate to kind of judge and base a team off of a performance based on warm-ups, but they came out flat. There wasn't that kind of hop in their step. Right. Uh, Jeff Doughton, we learned afterwards, didn't run on his ankle all week long, so he clearly wasn't trying to, you know, push it in warm-ups. And I just felt, you know, there's that feeling you kind of get right. in the air. They didn't really have that mojo early on. And right from the start, they were down 11 nothing, could never get out and of And what it. David Cox said is we knew who they were, like grown men, and they were just, they had their way with URI oh, yeah. in the paint. It's hard when you only have eight guys, two of your best players uh, are hurt. So with that being said had they lost a Fordham and today they'd completely be done unless they won the A-10 tournament they have the Dayton opportunity on senior night Wednesday didn't go that great when they played at Dayton but if they can beat a top five team in the country they're sort of back where they need to be is there any way they can do that Wednesday I think it's going to be awfully tough I think Dayton's going to come in here and, and know that Rhode Island has one more chance and know right. that if and if that if you know they beat Dayton, then, then Rhode Island will have a chance to get into the tournament. And I think for that reason, I think Dayton wants to squash it. I think they want to be, they want to continue to be the class of the A10. Mm -hmm. They want to be potentially the only team now to get to the NCAA tournament from the Atlantic 10. Um, if if Rhode Island's going to win this game on on Wednesday night, I think it's going to take a hot start, and it's going to be all about guard play. Yeah. Fats Russell has kind of slipped the last four games. He's you know he's it, it's been tough. Um, Jeff Doughton, you know, also is, has been banged up, like I mentioned. Right. So, you know, it's got to be out of it's got to be the guards and maybe a performance from someone like a, someone off the bench having like their best performance of the year. Uh, how do you beat a top five team? It's not going to be easy. It'll be cool if they do get that win. And that's sort of how they stamp their resume. But so we are all in agreement. If they don't beat Dayton, they need to win the A-10 tournament for sure. But if they beat Dayton and then presumably UMass, maybe if they even get to the finals, we think they're okay. Yeah, I, th I think if you beat Dayton and, and you don't get to the finals, even if you just win one game in the A-10 yeah. tournament, I think that win is going to be big enough. So they're in the last uh, first four out right now, Joel Lenardi. As for Providence, they have had this meteoric rise up the bracketology uh, from a couple weeks ago, not even being on the bubble to right now safely. And Joel Lenardi has them a nine seed, yep. and he had them a 12 yesterday, uh, courtesy of that win over Villanova. I think we all wrote them off in, in January after that non-conference schedule, but can they keep this thing going? I think so. I think so. I think they finally have found a fit, and there were so many pieces to the puzzle. It took a little while for this team and Ed Cooley right. to really kind of figure out who goes where, but you have senior leadership. You have a couple players that can put the ball in the basket, like a Luan Pipkins, like an A.J. Reeves, mm -hmm. like a David Duke, like an Alpha Diallo that I should mention. And, you know, this team understands where they are. This team is peaking at the right time. Right. I think they're going to, you know, take care of DePaul and Xavier pretty handily, even though, you know, we know, you know what can happen with this team. Kind of they can, you know, take yeah. a wrong turn. But, you know, if, if they win these two games to end the regular season, they go into the Big East tournament, I think they have a chance to not only yeah. do damage but win the Big East tournament. This is a team... You know, if they play the way they're playing right now, they can make the Sweet 16. Yeah, I think they're peaking at the right time. Maybe too early, but if they win the last two regular season games and they're fourth right now in the Big East, they could climb maybe even to that three spot, yeah. which doesn't mean a whole lot, but just the matchups in Madison Square Garden. Um, I think Lawan Pipkin's emergence has been key for Providence. What has changed in his game that it's working for him now? Well, a week ago after that Marquette game, Ed Cooley said, I'm his third coach in five years. So it kind of takes right. some time to, to learn a program and learn your role. But there was no doubt about it that he had talent coming in. You know, Ed and his staff clearly mm -hmm. knew that bringing him in was going to help them on the basketball court. It took a little while finding his role. So now he's been extremely efficient, which he really has never been right. for the course for the, the, the majority of his college career. And he's taking the right shots. It's not even that he's just making shots. He's taking, you know, shots off of a, off of a drive and a kick. He's taking a shot in isolation, you know, when, when he knows that he's got to be the one to take a shot. And then once he hits one or two, you saw right. what he did against Villanova. And he's great at the free throw line. All right, I keep asking this question to Bill Koch and K-Mac and everyone else. Where do you stand right now? Neither team, both teams, or one or the other get in. Selection Sunday, two weeks from today. So if you would have asked me before the St. Louis game, I would have said two. I think today is, you know, after the, the URI game, I think it's one. I think, I think Dayton's going to be really tough on Wednesday, uh, and I think it's just going to be a little, you know, there's not enough time left uh, for big wins for yeah. URI, so I think it's just going to be PC. 
I hate to be a, a prisoner of the moment, but I agree. I had URI in yesterday. They lose today. Currently don't have them in. That doesn't mean we can't change our minds if they beat Dayton. Correct. Because <laughs> oh, uh, they're going to go to the tournament. Yeah. But yeah, but the interesting graphic they showed on the broadcast today. The last four or five winners of the A-10 tournament, three, four, five Cs. It hasn't been the top gun. So maybe they melt down and then win it in Brooklyn. But we'll have to see. All right. Thanks, Maury. Yeah. Uh, much more coming up on the Sports Wrap right after this.